Hey, it's been a fun day and we were able to get into the air. We flew with our pilot, Mark, over the Black Elk Wilderness Area and the Black Elk Peak. The peak is the highest natural point in South Dakota at 7,244 feet. Individuals much more fit than I am and active <laughs> actually hike this range. At the top is an old fire tower. I'll just say that it was beautiful from the air. In addition, we saw a field of bison, including two blonde ones and several calves. On the rocky cliffs, there were a couple of mountain goats. They were so white, it really wasn't difficult to see them. Plus, they were laying down on flat areas and not moving, so that helped in spotting them too. As we were making our return trip to the helipad, just as we came out of the canyon, we were looking straight into the face of the Crazy Horse Monument. We could tell that the family had made huge advancements in their work over the past couple of years. The fingers and knuckles were clearly visible. It's impressive. The love and commitment that they put towards this huge project, and they continue to refuse any governmental grants or help, and I don't blame them. Not one bit. Stay out from underneath the governmental control. Today we had the worst of meals and also one of the best. The worst was at a recommended restaurant called Our Place. We'd heard about their wonderful breakfast menu and decided to have brunch there. It was after 11 when we arrived there and the menu made it perfectly clear that absolutely no breakfast would be served after 11 a.m. So we had already ordered coffee and we went on to check out the lunch menu. A child, seriously about a 12 year old boy, took our drink order and he brought us coffee. When about 10 minutes had gone by and no one came to take our food order, Paul gently let the waitress know. She threw her hands in the air and said, so-and-so is a trainee and she went after her. Shortly thereafter, the young girl came to take our order. We ordered and I let this girl know that we had received, what we had received was not coffee but hot tea. <laughs> the tea was replaced with mediocre coffee and the meals were fair at best. The dogs got most of mine. Dinner tonight was at the Custer Wolf. We had a very good meal there, finally. <laughs> Long time coming. Because we began our trip back tomorrow, we took one last walk through the town of Custer in the streets of South Dakota. At the end of today's video clip, I have included several of the painted buffalo statuettes from around the town. I'm guessing they are painted by local artists or by businesses. Some of them are very unique and they're all absolutely beautiful. Have a great night. We will see you guys soon. And we head to Nebraska tomorrow and we'll film some more, of course and we will pass it along. See ya.